Hey, what's going on guys? This is Knasty390 here. Welcome back to another MLB 18 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. Today, we just finished Conquest. So we got the rewards for that. Plus, we got the, the Diamond uh, mission and the Gold player mission done for if you pre-order it. So we'll go over that right now. So let's get right into it, boys. Here we're going to do the Gold and Diamond starter mission. So it looks like they don't... The last couple of years, they've been packs. Now it looks like you just get these players. Pee Wee Reese. I'm not sure who this player is. Is that Orlando? No, I don't know who that is. Rick Ellis, it looks like. I should know who Rick Ellis is. I don't. I apologize if any pirate fan... Or Doc Ellis. Oh, okay. I don't Doc Ellis. I thought it was Rick. Okay. Anyway. And then we get Pee Wee Reese. So let's go take a look at those cards and see how, if they, how they stack up to other players. So here's Pee Wee Reese. He's a shortstop. Actually not too bad. And he had really solid fielding at 88. 77 arm you kind of wish the arm strength was a little better uh, What he really excels in though is vision discipline clutch. Those are all 98 112 or 98 respectively uh, his contacts are both above 70 not much power, but he's five foot nine uh, <clears throat> I'll give him a try. I'll let you guys know how he is you guys if you've already used him I want to hear in the comments down below. How do you like this card? I'm gonna give him a try because right now my shortstop I think is Ian Desmond uh, so we can definitely get an upgrade there. You can also play third, but with a lack of power I just don't see him being a realistic uh, Choice at third base But here is Doc Ellis the gold player you get now the one thing that stands out He has 104 stamina, which is nice. Uh, he has a sinker slider curve change up in a palm ball palm ball is kind of like a It's kind of like a change up in regards to it's slower uh and you may even want to call it like a splitter or a fork ball. I guess it's comparable. It used to be a pitch back in the day. It's not really a pitch anymore. Um, so this is from back. He was nine, and This is back in 1871. He was an All Star that year. I'll give him a try. I have not. Um, if you guys have used him, also in the comments down below, what do you guys think about him? But all in all, nothing too too crazy with the Doc Ellis card. And here we go, guys. I am conquering the Mariners. That's going to give us all 30 teams. Now, I have not completed all the side mi uh, missions you get. If you guys did not already know, if you don't have the game yet, basically, on some of the teams when you conquer them, you have to do certain things. Like, I have to. This one will be easy, but with uh, Brad Ziegler in one game, it has to be a conquest game. you got to get a hold and two strikeouts. Um, this one has been really bugging me. Bill Mazeroski get it, a hit, an assistant to put out in the game. Um, there are some. you got to get, like, a, two hits and a stolen base. But we conquered all the strongholds, so let's get that done. And then we are also going to get this done. So Baseball Manifest Destiny is all set. Now we are at 48% uh, for the mission, which I don't know if all, how all those other things equal 100%. I really don't because um, you just look at the percentages they give you. There must be more to it that I'm missing. I don't know. But I do know what the cards you get. Uh, the NL player is a Cole Hamels, 85 overall, or an 86. The AL player is an Edgar Martinez, I believe that is an 85 overall. And then this is a Luis Gonzalez from the, uh, back from when he was on the, uh, Diamondbacks. I think it was a 1998 breakout card. So, those are the rewards you get there. We do get a... Uh, 10 pack bundle which will open up now, which is great. For me, this is huge because we are team no money spent. We need to make sure we get like we we do this as many times. Now, Conquest Extreme, we can start. I think we can start now. No, we can't. So you can you can start Conquest Extreme once you finish this. So I guess we gotta I gotta continue working on that. But we did at least get the board done in Conquest, so that's done. As you can see, the board is empty. So I'll show you guys real quick those three cards that I just mentioned, so you can see what they look like. Edgar Martinez, that I mentioned breakout card from 1992. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to really like this card that much. Great contact versus left. That's amazing. Contact versus right's really good as well. 99, that's amazing. The power is just not really there. He can play third base, but with his lack of fielding, lack of arm, I would not trust him there. And then you probably have to put him at first. If you're going to put him at first, he doesn't have enough power. So I really don't know if I'm going to use him. And I'm a guy who's doing no money spent. It's not like I'm going to be having a, an overpowered team, but I just don't, with the lack of power and the positions that he's playing, the defense isn't there. It's just a high contact. I, I mean, maybe I'll fall in love with the card, but all in all, I don't think I'll be using this card too, too much. Here's the Cole Hamels that you get. Now, this card actually I do like. He's left-handed. He has a four-seamer circle, change, a cutter, 
a sweeping curve and a two seamer. I like the different types of fastballs he has. You can use those to your advantage. You can kind of use the cutter and the two seamer to change the miles per hour. As you can see, a four seamer is up to 92, a cutter is 89. It's enough that you can get someone off balance and so they get weaker content and I mean contact. And he's got the sweeping curve, which could be really good, and the changeup looks pretty solid. So I'll give him a try once I get him unlocked. I'll let you guys know how I like him. But I've liked Cole Hamill cards in the past, so I would expect this one to be good as well. And here's a Luis Gonzalez that you get from 1899 breakout card. Now, he is a little bit better. He's similar to the Edgar Martinez, high contact, not super high power. His power is a little respectable at 71 versus right. I think both of Edgar's were in the 50s. His power versus left is pretty weak, so he's more of a platoon player, but he does have great contact versus both. His fielding is not as awful as, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a bronze. They give it a bronze fielding, but he's not playing like a, a primary position of, I think, first base is where you have to play Edgar. So if he's playing like left or right or center field, which he can play all three, I would not recommend him in center with a lack of speed and reaction. Probably, and with his lack of arm, I would probably say left field is the position to keep him in. Uh, I think you can use him. I think he is usable. Um, not an amazing card. Maybe he plays better than what his attributes look like. But, like I said, I'm a big power guy. I wish he had like 100 power instead of, and like 71 and 41 contact. I would have rather have had that. But, beggars can't be choosers. I'll give him a try once I unlock him as well. But, now let's get into the packs, boys. We got some packs to open. Let's get right into it. I do have a Conquest pack. I've already opened up one of these as well. Actually, you can sell the cards you get in this, which is nice. So, let's see what we get in this. We get a Yasiel Puig bobblehead, which is okay. Um, Anything really? Nope. All right, let's get into the 10-pack bundle. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying this video as we get a Trevor Bauer as a topper. If you are enjoying it, do me a solid, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you want more uh, Team No Money spent. As we get a, ooh, a Phil Necro. That actually might go for a little bit. Maybe he has a mission or something. Actually, I don't think they have like hidden missions, but he throws a knuckleball, so guys always want the, that knuckle cheese. So that's actually not too bad. We'll check at the end of the video if that's worth anything. But we are Team No Money spent. We're doing pretty good. Uh, do we get Chris Archer signed ball? On coin or subs, excuse me, we're at almost 60,000. I did sell Cody Bellinger. Um, I was streaming on Twitch. I'll have a link to that down below. Uh, and I have Ryan Zimmerman. He was my uh, he was my loyalty card, and I liked him more than the the Cody Bellinger. And the Bellinger I sold for 20k. We get a George Springer bobblehead there. Anything else? Nope, just a bunch of bronze. Like, and I'll say this, guys, right now, if you have the game. If you, unless you're really going after these like uh, collections, sell your silvers. They're going for a lot. Like they're going for, we. I don't want to say too much because I mean it's an open market, but they're going for quite a bit. I was hoping to pull a couple of them so that we could uh, I could get some uh, some stubs. But we're gonna have to play the market unless we can pull something out of our ass. This last couple packs, last pack of the video, guys. Let's see what we get. And we got nothing unfortunately out of it but i showed you guys everything you get for beating conquest one even though i haven't completely beaten it i got a few more things to do but that's the reward to the players you get i hope that helped you out knowing what to do i would recommend for anyone who is just the first thing i'd recommend anyone to do i know you may want to go and play um battle royale or play ranked seasons play conquest i think it's great to kind of learn how the game is played what's different this year in terms of gameplay than the prior years and it helps build up your team get a solid base for ranked seasons battle royale it went effective but then it does give you some coins or excuse me stubs like i said beat, beat conquest once then get into your ranked seasons your battle royale i think that's probably best so you can kind of learn how the game's played this year what's different about the gameplay but that's it for the video guys i hope it helped you out i'll talk to you later take it easy peace